Every product has a story, and it already begins long before it reaches consumers. From individual components to the final end product, production will often go through hundreds of processes, and they all require natural resources and energy. How many valuable resources are used for these, in fact, are often not visible to consumers. Just because you don't see the product's ecological footprint, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. The production of a bicycle, like this one, requires an average of 543 kilowatt hours of primary energy. That corresponds to the monthly power consumption of a typical household of five in Germany. And this is just one product. Every European owns an average of 10,000 objects. Every American owns roughly more than twice as much. From 2002 to 2012, energy use rose by 16% per capita, while the world's population grew by 12%. Currently, the worldwide annual primary energy use stands at an unbelievable 145 trillion, 103 billion kilowatt hours. The use alone by early industrialized countries shows that the global resource consumption exceeds the extent of our environmental, economical, and social responsibility. At the same time, developing and emerging countries are also striving for a better standard of living. Considering the regenerability of the Earth, we're already using the resources of one and a half Earth today. We're consuming, so to speak, on credit. That places our projected consumption, in fact, to three Earths in the year 2050. So how can we meet the human needs and at the same time keep consumption at a sustainable level? Following the principle, more prosperity for more people with less resource consumption, the Collaborative Research Center 1026 Sustainable Manufacturing is developing solutions for the production of tomorrow. Scientists are using their expertise from different disciplines in order to achieve this challenging goal. In this interdisciplinary research project, three project areas work together on solutions which will lower the burden on people and nature while maintaining economic competitiveness and thus lead to sustainable added value. Project Area A is developing strategic tools for and solution approaches to sustainable production. In order to do so, requirements from the economy, society and our ecological system Earth are identified. What sustainable production accounts for and how sustainability is measured is researched here. The influence of sustainable production on the economy and the environment will be examined and illustrated with appropriate formulas. Mathematical research provides clues in how economical, ecological and social sustainability goals can be measured against each other. Project Area B is researching the potentials of resource-efficient production technologies. From project development to production, through use and recycling, the entire life cycle of a product and the actions within the value creation network are screened. Other examples are old machines, which can be retrofitted with high-tech adaptronic elements, as well as new machines built with modular components. This enables them to be used longer and more flexibly in adapting to sustainability demands. The Collaborative Research Center 1026 Sustainable Manufacturing demonstrates the great potential of and for sustainability-oriented technologies in the production process. For instance, research on energy-saving welding processes, on environmentally friendly cleaning with dry eyes, and on the reduction of poisonous cooling fluids is conducted. In order to sustainably create value worldwide, it's important to enable people to make decisions and to take actions which promote this. Project Area C researches models and tools which can teach and assist managers, planners, workers, and users to act responsibly. For example, scientists are developing manual and automated work systems which connect work and learning. These systems intelligently adjust themselves to individually address the employee's mental and physical needs. The information technology tools for knowledge management and decision making are enhanced by incentive systems created for promoting sustainability and based on game theory research. Knowledge is and has been the only resource whose availability increases with use. Therefore, the Collaborative Research Center is working together with projects like Youth Day, Girls Day, and Green Day. 
Such projects which address a younger crowd are vital for passing on and exchanging ideas and feelings about sustainability with the children who will carry them on in the future. With creativity and technical expertise, the Collaborative Research Center 1026 is paving a way towards innovative manufacturing. It promotes a society in which resources will be protected and a society with more people benefiting from progress.